Welcome to Configuring RemedyForce Email Services. On login, in order to configure RemedyForce Email Services, click RemedyForce Administration, click Configure Email, Email Services. Click the RemedyForce Email Processor, and we'll create a new email address. Make sure the email address is active and the context user is an active user with a profile of administrator, Remedy Force Service Desk Administrator, Remedy Force Change Manager, or Remedy First Force Service Desk Staff. You'll also want to clear the accept email from or the Remedy Force email processor will only accept email from that address. Click Save. Once the email address has been created, we'll test it. Clicking the email address will open it in your default email editor and we'll put test email. <coughs> Click send. And to smooth use of the email to incident processor, uh, we recommend mail admins create an email helpdesk at mycompany.com and have users send to that email address and then that email address forward to the Remedy Force email processor. Once an email is sent, the Remedy Force email processor will process the email into an incident in about 30 seconds. However, it can take longer. If the email hasn't processed into an incident in about 30 minutes, then you need to investigate uh, why it wasn't processed. So there's our incident uh, processed uh, from an email. Let's look at the additional configuration of the Remedy Force email listener. Click on Remedy Force Administration, Configure Email, Incident Email Settings. By default, Remedy Force will process any email into an incident regardless of subject. However, you can set Remedy Force to only process emails into incidents with certain subject. The default setting is open call. <clears throat> you can change it, but we'll leave it at open call for this. Also, uh, Remedy Force can be configured to not process email into incident for certain strings. An example, out of office or jury duty. So if an email comes in with out of office or jury duty in the email subject, the email will not be processed. Other strings uh, can be added with comma delimiters. The assigned email generated incidents to is three options, a context user, staff, and queue. Most customers select the queue and they'll select a help desk or a service desk queue. We'll select service desk for this test. Users to receive email processing error notification should be an admin. This user <coughs> must remain active or the Remedy Force email services will stop working. Identifying email sender. Remedy Force attempts to locate users in Salesforce to map them to the client of the incident created from email by pulling the email address from the from in the email. <clears throat> Sometimes customers allow clients who have not yet been created as users in Salesforce send an email for processing into incidents and then add the clients later. If you wish to use this feature, select a user for the client for the unidentified sender. This user will be mapped to the client for any emails where Remedy Force cannot look up and locate a user in Salesforce. This user must also remain active. Remedy Force also allows the mapping of content from the email into various fields in the incident. In order to make sure that any content mapping is captured, we first want to map all content of the email body <coughs> Um, to the description field. 
A popular field to map is category, particularly for automated systems. So we'll look in the body for category and we'll use the word category as the identifying word and we'll use the delimiters as the pound sign. Let's also select impact and urgency. So with these configuration parameters, Remini Force will <coughs> map all of the email body to the description field of the incident. Category will try to be mapped to the category field, impact to impact, urgency to urgency. So as the configuration now is, Remini Force will only process incidents where the email subject contains open call and try to map the incident body to category impact and urgency while copying all of the email body into the incident description. Let's test it. Notice the keyword uh, as described in the parameters. The keyword is category. So Remedy Force will try to locate the category field and will try to populate it with the information in between the hash delimiters, which is hardware. The same for impact and urgency. Now we'll go to the Remedy Force console and wait for the instant to be created. Okay, incident number 38 has been created. And you'll see as the parameters specified, we mapped all of the email body to the incident description. The category field was mapped hardware. And impact and urgency were both set to low. This concludes the configuration of the Remedy Force email services.